steady tempo, which is bringing all the other riders, chasing on ever closer to the front of the race. This is not over yet, Cosnefran knows that. They check to see where the chase is. Alaphilippe waiting now. Well inside the final kilometers, Alaphilippe tightening those sprinter's shoes, as we've seen him done so many times before. Is he gonna just take Mathieu van der Poel to the line and take his chances? His teammates are controlling the pace on the front, so the chase is under control from de Koenig Quickstep's point of view and from Julian Alaphilippe's point of view. Cosnefra, though, no goes! Cosnefra, the first of the three riders, with 200 meters to go to open up his sprint. Locked onto his wheel, though, Mathieu van der Poel. And it's Julian Alaphilippe who is using both those riders to try and come out off the slipstream. Van der Poel, though, passed by Julian Alaphilippe. Cosnefra, passed by the world champion. Now Alaphilippe hits the front, van der Poel down the middle. Alaphilippe, though! Well, well, that was close again. Did he hold on this time? There's the lunch for the line. It's close, but the world champion gets there. Julian Alaphilippe just about holding off Mattia van der Poel by oh, a quarter of a wheel. He almost thought, I think, he lost it again there, but he got it right on the day this time, and he did it fair and square. No deviating from the line. Almost celebrated too early. Oh, <laughs> but he just about got the race won. He spotted uh, his one year by the side of the road, and Benoit Cosnefra takes the congratulations. Let's look at how this unfolded then. Cosnefra was the first to go. It was a very decent attack. Just before the left-hander, held onto it, had Van der Poel on his wheel. And then Alaphilippe was the next to sprint from behind those two riders. Van der Poel almost waited for the Frenchman there. And now Van der Poel went with the Frenchman and opened up his sprint down the middle of the road. But Alaphilippe just about held him off. And I think we've learned a lot about Cosnefra today because he was beaten into third place as we probably always thought he would be, but he wasn't beaten by much. <laughs> That's one of the great celebrations of 2020, that is. What a story that tells. This rivalry, well, we're going to enjoy it.